Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We're playing with the Leviathan's Story Pack DLC and the Heinlein patch. We have our colony ship heading down here to colonize this ocean world. And we are trying to get our minor mandate fulfilled so we can get some more influence because we are, we are getting so very, very little. Unfortunately, uh, this is not going to allow us to free up a... Um, a frontier outpost. So that's kind of a shame. I really don't know why these are requiring so much to colonize. I don't know why that distance is uh, a thing. But it is, and there's not much I can do about it, so. Oh well. Okay, ah, the Inari Republic ate the, uh, um... Actually, that didn't didn't even uh, show up as a a result. Uh, but they did that earlier. And the sovereign Imatharan planets entered a defensive pact with the United Sidematis colonies. Uh, that is disappointing. That is probably just going to hurt our relations even more. What about you? You're in a Federation Associ... You've got Federation Association status with us. That's good. Distance is a big problem for uh, the Protectorate here. Neutral attitude. What about... Uh, offer trade deal. You want, uh, want a research agreement? You won't take a research... Oh, right, fine, I'll... No, you know what? If you're gonna play that way, you got an ocean world that I want. I might I might just come attack you at some point. Not that anyone in our uh, federation will agree to that, but... Oh, you're waiting to be upgraded. Uh, just go ahead and return home and then upgrade. Uh, the Rekthalaknok Interstellar Concordant entered into a defensive pact with the Twaxthadar Star Syndicate. Who the heck is that? What happened to that empire that popped up there? Did you guys eat them or something? I do not know. I have no idea who these guys are. Up there, okay. Interesting. Oh! We were trading you, uh... for Lytheric Gas. What does Lytheric Gas do for me again? Shield hit points plus 15%. Ah, oh, you're gonna take that away from me? Bastards. Better not. I want it. I really want the automated dreadnought too. Oh yeah, I was gonna I was gonna watch this. Yeah, they're getting their butts kicked. Construction complete. A governor leveled up and gained the adaptable trait. Well, that's good. It's actually really good. Let's see if we can see what uh, what these guys are using. Nope. And I let it go too fast. So we have no idea what what they were using, unfortunately. And they do have. Uh, Hull regeneration. But they did uh, reduce the power of that pretty well. Red Welk finished surface construction. Let's go ahead and queue up the upgrades there. So I may consider going down and attacking them. I've got... I don't have a fleet powerful enough yet, but I am building more cruisers. 
So we'll see how that comes out with uh, our cruisers. And I should be uh, getting battleships in uh, a bit over a year. System survey complete. Do I still have open borders with you? I do, complete. okay. The Sari Coalition would vote no on letting these guys have uh, association status, huh? It's kind of a shame. I don't know why you guys don't like them. Ships upgraded. Okay, now you're going to go build the uh, science. That's good. I'll take that science. System survey complete. Okay, can you go home and upgrade? You can. Good. Oh, you're just going to get blown up right there. The Inari Republic have closed their borders, and the Helven Kingdom have closed their borders. Oh, no, no, it moved, uh, moved down here. Okay, you're not going to get blown up. Actually, no, it's not the Dreadnought that I'm really interested in. It's the, uh, um, that is a lot of things right there. Uh, it's the Vault. Did I see the Vault? I think I, I thought I saw the Vault. But I don't remember where it was. I'm pretty sure no one's been able to do anything with it yet. Relative power. Only the Royal Wakegi Sons are more powerful than we are. There's a dimensional horror. I thought that the vault was in here somewhere. It may not be. It might be out here, actually. And I just haven't found it, and I'm, I'm mixing up the uh, dreadnought. Or maybe I saw the dreadnought and uh, was like, ooh, ooh, it's the vault, it's the vault, and I was wrong. Which is entirely possible. Um, which is a shame... If the vault isn't here, the vault gets you some really good technology. And as far as I know, it's the only way to get that technology. Oh well. Ah! Oh no! They have expanded down here. I thought it was the other guys. The Zack plot is not who I was thinking of. They are Iron Age. No, I was thinking of these guys. Early Space Age. I think their space station got blown up or something. But damn it! This is my space down here, you jerks. Construction complete. At some point, I am probably going to need to get out of the Federation just so that I can do some wars. done as much as we can. Let's, uh... It's not in our space yet. But it will be sh uh, shortly. As this expands. Research complete. But yeah, I mean, like, I really want to get this tropical world because that will allow uh, our space to connect up. Biolab 2. Ooh, telepathy. Ah. Oh. Climate restoration allows us to terraform ecologically devastated tomb worlds. That's good. I gotta go for this. It's gonna take 85 months, but I gotta do go for it because it's a rare tech. Even though I want the uh, cloning, because I believe this will open up uplift. Yeah, let's go for uh, telepathy. I gotta go for that. 
definitely, definitely have to go for that. Um, but we can upgrade that. We can upgrade that. Nothing to upgrade there or there. And this isn't grown yet. Construction complete. Suppose I could uh, colonize that, and that might allow me to get rid of that. Uh, that frontier outpost. System survey complete. A whole lot of nothing in that system. Colony established. There we go. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and start building our spaceport. Let's get our frontier clinic there. Let's go ahead and just build the monument monument to purity there right now. Uh, we cannot get the Betharian... Oh, I do not have the tech for that yet. All right, I'm going to have to wait for that to come in. All right, fair enough. Construction complete. I don't think there's anything else that I need to build there. Nope. Alright, Robin is on our way here. Let's go ahead and build the... Let's queue up those things. Build that research station. Mining station. Research station. And build this mining station. Not sure if that queued up or not. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, nothing to build there. Abyssus. Nothing to really build there. Okay. Now to terraform this into a continent, uh, not a continental world, an ocean world is thirty-seven fifty. That is really expensive. Um, not generating enough energy for that to really happen right now. Zanir civilization encountered. They are in the early industrial age. Okay, they are fanatic collectivists and materialists. Natural physicists, non-adaptive, deviants, very strong, charismatic, and arctic preference. Mm, nothing all that interesting with them. There are two Aurelium ores over there. Alright, battleships. Excellent. Okay. Uh, fortress might be good. In fact, let's go for it. It'll take a long time, but then at least we can start working on uh, our plan for getting some of the research out of the Othethi Shard. And with that, let's go ahead and upgrade our spaceports. And let's take a look at our ship designer. Our battleships. So here's an interesting thing. If I auto-complete the design, it puts in the Advanced Combat Computer Corvette. So this is why all the other ships uh, in the, or most of the ships in the Federation fleet had the Corvette Combat Computer. Let's see what the comparison would be. Uh, chance to evade would be plus six. Combat speed plus 20, and it has swarm behavior. This is artillery behavior. The ship will stay at range and fire its long-range weapons on the target. And weapons damage plus 10%. That is better. Uh, we've got the artillery uh, bow on there already. We can get the uh, hangar bow or the broadside bow. Uh... There, there will be another option soon. Well, not soon, but eventually. I'm wondering what exactly I want, though. 
Large weapons probably won't be all that good for a little bit. I'm not a big fan of the hangers. I'm not a big fan of fighters. Um, I just don't feel like their damage output is on par. Then again, it's kind of hard to tell what their damage output is. I suppose next time I get into a battle with a, um, a ship with ha hangers, I can take a look. Although, the fighters do have pretty good range. I think we'll go with the broadside bow. We've got the broadside core, artillery core, hangar core, and carrier core. Let's go with the broadside core. And we've got the broadside stern and artillery stern. I'll go with the artillery stern. Okay, so, uh, weapon-wise... We can't get any uh, large mining drone lasers, and the range on those is actually substantially shorter, so I'm probably not going to use those on our battleships. What about disruptors? That's a range of 80. That is a range of 80. And that is a range of 70. Accuracy 75%, tracking 5%. 80 and 5. That's kind of crappy. That's a range of 85. Ignores 30% of armor and plus 33% shield damage. 9 damage. 6 damage. 19 to 35. 21 to 74, wow. Maybe I've really underestimated mass drivers. We have to think about that. Well, these have pretty good uh, accuracy, so let's go with those for the large ones. That way they will take care of shields. Uh, accuracy is a lot less, but on the medium. That's only a range of 60. And you've got a range of 40. It's not a whole lot of damage, though. That's only a range of 30. Forty-five. That's plus 33% shield damage. Accuracy is pretty crap for those, though. So that's part of it. Um, what do I want on the smalls? It only ignores 60% of it. I guess we'll go with the blue lasers, then. I'm not sure it, 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 what exactly it decides to do with the... Uh, um, stay at range thing. You know, with these having a range of 30, will they advance into 30, or will they try to stick out at, uh, you know, like 80 or 60? I don't know. Um, but I'm not a big fan of most of these weapons right now, so they're sort of temporary. Let's get back to that. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Got a lot of extra power. It's because these are all large slots. Not much I can do about that. Alright, that's fine. We'll get some extra damage out of them, then. Oops, let's go with the auto upgrade. There we go. And when they, uh, when that space port upgrade is done, we'll build System some more battleships. Complete. And then, uh, I think we will try to go down and take care of these guys ourselves. We'll probably lose a lot of ships. But, uh... It could still be quite interesting and possibly lucrative. Construction complete. Yeah, he, he basically lost most of his fleet right there. All he's got are these, uh two Star Hunter fleets. 
What are you actually uh, you equipping on them? Plasma accelerators, ion disruptors, and a lot of point defense. And your Corvettes have torpedoes, of course. Okay, these are all the, uh, yeah, that's all the level 6 upgrades. That's fine. System survey complete. Construction complete. Okay, you've got your upgrade. Any slots that I want to put in there? Engineering bay. Ooh, yes. Let's get the engineering bay in there before we uh, build the battleships. Reduce the uh, upkeep. Definitely a very good thing. Floral fascination. Several plants native to Tindus, where we recently established a colony, exude copious amounts of a pollen with a, an astounding chemical complexity. A special research project has been prepared for further study of this flora. Situation log updated. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, I need a... I don't think that we're going to get one in there in time. Well, wait, where are you? Because you're coming home, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Excellent. Uh, I'm not sure how... I'm not sure if it... I'll actually get there in time, but there's a chance. So we'll see what we can we can do about that. Okay, yeah, no, I think upgraded. I will. Construction complete. Robin has been upgraded. No, Robin. Oh yeah, Robin was upgraded. Construction Never mind. complete. Okay, we've got our engineering bay. We've got our fleet academy. Uh, crew quarters are just good for. Uh, orbiting ships. So it is very expensive, 1,294 to build a battleship. Let's go ahead and queue up all of them. Drain our coffers dry. terrible. Is there anything that we get from that? Oh yeah, get some uh, society research. What is... That is a good planet though. Really want that. Construction complete. System survey. As per anointed one Paula Sanders of mandate, additional mining stations have been constructed. 250 influence. Excellent. Ah, oh, that helps. Unfortunately, Pursuit that's about all that we're going to get. Okay, Ion Disruptors. Excellent. Uh, we can get Hyperlane Mapping. I'm going to hold off on that. I don't really care about that right now. Um, Power Hub 2 would be really good. Shields and Plasma Accelerators would also be good, but... I want more, I want more uh, income. Let's get more income. Speaking of, how are, uh, how are new systems doing down here? Okay, hasn't uh, upgraded this, but he is upgrading the uh, reassembled ship shelter, so that's good. Uh, you're moving to Viral Raka. Uh, I'm not sure if he will actually redevelop these or not. But again, part of that is... You know, I'll need to just go in there and take control of stuff at some point. And that would be the best place to build the uh, Frontier Hospital, but he probably won't. Construction complete. Are you there? Yes. Okay, good. Special project complete. Marin Karen, Pistol Pondering. On closer examination, the plants native to Tindus turn out to be rather dull. Some excrete pollen that have a mild stimulating effect. 
and they are likely to have a propensity for rapid genetic change. Hardly impressive enough to warrant adopting as a strategic or luxury resource. Yeah, we get uh, 150 uh, society research, so double speed on one month worth of research on our psionic, uh, on our telepathy. We get the psionic army, which um, not really sure if that's worthwhile. I mean, it's going to be better than what we have right now, especially considering that I'm weak. Uh, but it's not all that great. Let's upgrade to the latest design, then we'll have you assist uh, research. Marin Karen, olfactory arousal. Long-term exposure to the pollen naturally occurring in Tindus's atmosphere acts on the colonists' pheromone receptors with a mild aphrodisiac effect, accompanied by a barely perceptible high. The plant that produces the most potent strain is a flower common to all areas of the planet. Squirreled away into some obscure taxonomic nook by scientists on Tindus, but known in the local Welk dialect as Marin Karen. We cannot allow mind-altering particles in the atmosphere. Ah, remarkable. Pheromone. Stage. First stage. Modifier added. Giving the following effects happiness plus 10%. That's fine. Construction complete. Okay. That's fine. Uh, so there we go. Pheromone. First stage. Happiness plus 10%. What are you doing on your spaceport? Spaceport is done. Excellent. Orbital hydroponics. Go ahead and upgrade. And let's see. We're still okay. How many more uh, battleships? I don't think that I'll want to wait for all of them to build. But that's part of it, is that uh, each one of these guys is has a maintenance of five energy credits. That is a lot for each battleship. And we get a lot less uh, um, individual power out of a battleship. Let's split one off and I'll, I'll show you. Are they all the way down here at the bottom? Yes, they are. Okay. So one battleship right now is 478 uh, military power. Whereas... Back in, um, you know, before 1.3, they were, what, 2K, 1.6K-ish, somewhere in there, depending on uh, what kind of upgrades and, and equipment you had on them. They're never going to get much higher than, like, 600, from what I call, recall. So, there's a definite dramatic decrease in the power of uh, military vessels in this game. Although, on the other hand, uh, you can get... Um, your Corvette's up to, like, 120 power or something like that. Still, I'm not a big fan System of survey complete. the Corvettes. You still go through them like candy. I mean, I'm not really sure how many Corvettes you'd really need to take on a single battleship. I don't know if... I don't think that... that five Corvettes with an, an equivalent battle power can take on a battleship. Alright, Robin has finished that construction. So we're getting some more uh, research there. We'll get some more research there. And here. This one has moved away from Red Welk. That'll come. We'll, get a, we'll start getting a new growth there. Yep, yeah, already. Alright, well, we can put in the solar panel network there. Marin Karen, ta making time for pedals. Reports from Tindis indicate that worker productivity has declined recently, becoming stable at levels several percent lower than the spiral mandate average. This may or may not be due to the stimulating effects of the pollen native to the planet. It probably is. A special project has been prepared should we wish to make our production pipelines more efficient to make up for the loss. Uh, pheromone, second stage, modifier added, giving the following effects, minerals, minus 15%. Well, the good news is that this planet has basically no mineral tiles whatsoever. How are we actually... Oh, no, it's energy. I thought that was minerals for a second. Let's see what can be done. Situation log updated. 
Yeah, so I'm I'm basically I'm only going to be getting minerals out of the capital, and that is it. Everything else is going to be doing other things. Quite a bit of science. So let's see. We've got our labor study. Uh, we'll just send you down here rather than upgrading. Probably upgrade right down here anyway. And we'll take care of that, but that will be in the next episode. See you then, everyone.